Welcome back to the Sailor and Daddy's video. And today we're gonna play a game. And then at the dollar store. An old store. An old, old store. Like a. Um, it's called yeah, it's Strategy store. 5. Strata 5. Strata 5. By Milton Bradley. It came out in 1984. Packaging's oh. really cool. The back's got some. Reading. Yep. And it's a strategy game. Me and Lily played it, tried to play it, but the rules are really long. So it's for 10 and up, but Lily's six. We kind of gave it a go. The rules, there's a lot of rules about how you can position your pawns and your pieces. But we already know the rules. We kind of know the rules. See? Okay, I think you have to get back there. Okay. Back here is the best view. Okay, so Lily. To get your pawns to the top of five, and you can't go any higher than five. Can't go any higher. You want to describe how the game looks? Yes. So here's the board that you play it on. I kind of ripped the sticker off it. Okay, we're going to have to fix that. <laughs> it's so, old. It's old. We'll fix it. What you need, these little stacky blocks like that. It goes like that. You only line up in the grooves. So there's rules about stacking and lining up. Really cool game. Pawns in the corner. Yep. I don't know all the rules, but you have to start for these uh, building blocks in the corner, and your pawns can only start the game from this position. So here, show them the pawns, and the pawns have numbers. Here's the pawns, and my dad's gonna have the red, and I'm gonna have the black. Okay. You have to move the same number as on the pawns that if you get the number and it's a big big number it might make it to the top and it might not you can only move the pawn the number that's on the pawn that's like, many jumps I'll make, so I'll that's move a four, it four. Can move four times. six so i can move so the game has if you get the game new which is probably make it impossible you still you would stack you know your pieces as your turn and you, know, you pick you pick who goes first and you stack and you stack and you stack each player has a, a player color of the cards. See, like, that has red and I have black. Overall, there was a couple things broken on the game, like these have little circles under them, and then some are broke off, so they're supposed to hook together number for number, but we're missing like one pawn number and a couple are broke pieces, but for the most part, it's 98% here, the game. We were really impressed because it's But we can but... We can move these with yeah. different numbers, so we did you can okay. flip them. You can flip them over to that. We had fun with it, no matter what, basically. And yeah, and I can glue them if I have to, but yeah. I think it's fun this way. Um, the fact that the game survived from 1984 till now about most of these pieces. It's kind of like finding a Star Wars toy from back in the day in the 70s. So I thought it was kind of really cool. Yeah, see, this fine. one's like this one's locked, and this one's. A, so, um, how would you give this game a 1 through 10 on the fun factor? The fun factor is, um, pieces, because... No, 1 through 10, how fun is it? Like, does that make a little more sense? It's... Oh, you're saying you like the game because the pieces were fun to play with. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. The fun actually is... So, 1 through 10, 10 being the funnest, what's the number? Really? The number is... What would you give it as number 1 through 10, 10 being the funnest? 10. Okay, she gets a 10. How about how it looks? 10. A 10? How about the packaging? 10. A 10? <laughs> Milton Bradley nailed it. So it was really cool. We found that. We also got an old puzzle too, which is 500 piece solo puzzle, but we haven't done that yet. It's really too hard for Lily. So we'll wait for her to grow up on that. But I'm looking forward to going back to this store because we found some really cool things. this game on YouTube hardly. There's a couple things on Google about it from the manufacturer. Yeah. Not that we our review would be the greatest, but we did have fun with it. It's just Lily is six, this game's rated for a ten year old, so But you know, it's very, very easy. It's fun. Fun evening stuff to do.
pretty cool. What do you think? Awesome. Wow, you like this game? Okay, now we're gonna do these. This game is really cool. Okay, go ahead and do the pawn. Okay. Okay, five moves. Okay, so I'm going for the staircase. One, two, three. Oh, it's only the three and it's five. Gotta start at your corner. One, two, three. A two. One, two. That's three. He started there. One, two. I don't know. I got to cut. Oh, yeah. Okay, four. One, two, three, four. I got three points for getting it up high. One, two, ones. You know that's a roll. You can't. Um, I got six, so I'm gonna go one, two. All right. No can go on there. One, two, three, four, five. Put a big thumbs up, subscribe, go to my Twitter, Instinct This Gamer Review, and I'll see you in my next video. <laughs> Be happy, come on. Okay, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!